Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC18 in Dallas, Texas, and today I'm here with Dieter from LRZ. Dieter, are you having a good show so far? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, I understand you gave a great talk here at the Intel HPC Forum, but let's start at the beginning. Can you tell me about the applications that you are using on this new SuperMuck, this fantastic, I think, number eight supercomputer in the world? What are the apps? So the, the goal that we have is to support as many apps as possible. So we're dividing the work between this Reed German Center and the Gauss Center for Supercomputing. And our task is actually the wide array of different science applications. So it goes from anything from astrophysics down to the Earth's mantle, down to personalized medicine. Uh, whatever you can imagine uh, should be working with our Super MOOC okay. okay, so everything from CFD to finite element analysis and not everything in between? Absolutely. So okay. CFD is, a, is one of the main things. So we have about one third is CFD. One third of the allocations is about physics, so astrophysics, material physics, yeah. these kinds of things. And the other third is actually divided between everything. So computer science is less than 1%. Uh, there's chemistry, there is, uh, you name it, it's yeah. there. Yeah. Well, your machine is famous for its innovative hot water cooling. Can you tell me more about that? So hot water cooling is actually the thing that we need to do in order to save money. So we use hot water to cool the system because with hot water we can generate without any additional energy. And every euro we save means that we can spend it on more science. And that's the idea that why we are following this goal. So Dieter, kind of a wrap up question here. You know, this show is all about AI and convergence with HPC. It's all the excitement. What is super muck? What's the story there with that stuff? So first of all, I have a very realistic view on AI. I see it as, as a component in the scientific workflow. So SuperMOOC is more or less the, the, the big machine that processes all the data, that uh, generates the data that later is, uh, is generated, processed by AI. And the idea is really that we kind of put these things together because we see more and more people want to analyze their data, their resulting simulation data with some kind of AI machine. And with SuperMOOC and G, we're trying some couple of new things, including containers. And that's one thing we can do very easily because SuperMOOC NG is a pure Xeon-based system. And that means we could just do anything that you can do on a small-scale laptop. But we scale up to much bigger amounts of cores and memory. How many cores are we talking about on this big, big machine? 311,000 Xeon cores. <laughs> Well, hey, congratulations on that. I think it's fun to watch from my perspective. The energy efficiency is off the chart on that machine. And keep, going, keep doing the great science. Thank you very much. Pleasure.